Hey everybody, it's Richard Silver from the Silver Burtnick and Associates Group at uh, Sotheby's International Realty Canada. And this month I want to talk to you a lot about change. We have so many changes coming up in the next month, month and a half. First of all, the real estate market is going through some, some correction. Uh, it has become much ch more challenging. It's a time when we have to be creative. Um, and we have to think about um, options. You know, we, you know, the past 15 years, we've never thought about conditional upon the sale of a house, conditional upon financing, conditional upon building inspection. We're seeing all those conditions, and we're seeing a lot of uh, moving from you know approvals on one house that allow approvals on the other house, on the other house, on the other house. So we're seeing this feeling of you know cards needing to topple at the same time. So I want to talk to you about some changes that we're going to be seeing in the real estate market in the city of Toronto and you know how they affect you, how they affect us. Uh, one of the first ones is God bless the city of Toronto, they've decided to add another land transfer tax and it's on a sliding scale. I have information for you just below but you can take a look at the sliding scale. It will affect the sale of properties basically over two million uh, and there's a sliding scale all the way up. So how will it affect us? One of the things that I'm concerned about is that it's only City of Toronto. It does not include the 905. So will it be more of an advantage if somebody's buying a big house to be just outside the city limits and into the 905 or into Caledon or Oakville or you know other places just outside Toronto and some more commuting um, and it will affect it will affect uh, sometimes you know I'm in the situation now where we had to change the closing to make sure we close before the January 1st start date but the, the information is there the percentages is there and the land transfer tax which sadly will never see the end of in the city of Toronto um, is there as well so have a look the other thing that is happening now is the Ontario government has changed the Real Estate and Business Brokers Act to another act called the Trust in Real Estate Services Act. So what you're going to see is more openness. Uh, we're not really sure, strangely enough, love the Ontario Real Estate Association. They worked very hard on this to make it user friendly but it's being instituted on the 1st of December and it's going to mean a whole bunch of changes in the forms that you and I will have to be using but we haven't even seen the new forms and we probably will not see the new forms and what they entail until the November the 28th. So here we are, end of November and we're going to all of a sudden 1st of December have to change and look at what new forms we have to present to you as buyers or sellers or and but at the end of the day, hopefully, it's more about disclosure, it's more about information for you, and it's a way of better serving you. And I guess the other one to talk about is weather. Uh, we are here, we love the winter in <laughs> Toronto. Um, I choose to have a green Christmas. There's a lot of people who might choose to have a white Christmas. Uh, a lot of people say to me, well, how can you, you know, what's Christmas like, you know, in the tropics? And, uh, you know, strange thing, there are still trees uh, that get decorated and there's a lot of different, you know, I go to Mexico and there's a lot of different religious holidays that the Mexicans, uh, you know, celebrate, you know, coming up to Christmas and Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And um, it's wonderful to be there. It's wonderful we there. I, we also celebrate Hanukkah there. Uh, so there's a lot that goes on and it's surprising that you know, Christmas happens outside of snow, um, which is one of my pleasures in life at this moment. In the meantime, just know that I am always available online. I always have my phone with me. I usually have my computer with me as well. And all you have to know is that I'm working remotely from paradise. If you have any questions, please ask us. We've got Aaron, Celia, Jim, and our favorite guy, Mark, who's doing this video right now. And uh, we're there to help you. Anything you need, any questions you need. And don't think twice about picking up the phone and calling me direct as well, because I will always answer, as you know, I will always answer.